I thought I'd bring you guys in on another experiment I did. Made a batch of wit beer this summer, but I put uh, two gallons of it in these one gallon jugs. And then to one of the gallons I added five milliliters of lactic acid. To the other gallon I added 15 milliliters. Wanted to see if I could make it a little bit sour without doing um, uh, acidulated malt or a sour mash or using lactobacillus. And I thought a uh, sour wit beer sounded like something that would be good. So uh, I've got the bottles now and we can taste them and see what what happened all right let's taste these things here uh... one thing i was going to say is uh... i'm not really super experienced on using different acids for flavoring your beers meads wines that kind of thing um, using this lactic acid is actually one of the first times i've ever I think, used any acid actually but I knew that it was a possibility to flavor your whatever it is you're making with uh, lactic acid and I thought I would just see if it could be sort of like a little bit of a shortcut um, to like I said earlier doing the longer route. So what I don't have right now is the uh, my wit with no acid added however I do sort of remember what that tastes like. So let's start with the five milliliters per gallon. I think you get a, a whiff, a little whiff of uh, acid. A little bit of a different uh, sourness, uh, twanginess. I won't forget to taste it. <laughs> My three year old is the director, apparently. But I found that the five milliliters does add a just barely traceable amount of character to the beer that is not there without it. The 15 though, um, as I have found, and I purposefully didn't include the yeast in this pour right now just because um, that would be another flavor factor that um, is not necessary and just trying to taste the, uh, see what the acid contributed. This smells a little bit more twangy I even just got a little bit of of the head on my lips and I could already taste it. Oh wow, you know, I, I've made this several months ago and these bottles have been sitting around for a while now. But I think this is even almost coming out more now. And it's not unenjoyable. I do like sour beers, I do like tart things. Um, but I feel that the 15 milliliters per gallon gives it a little bit of kind of a fake taste where what I mean is it's like when you use the fruit extract in a beer. Uh, I think I only did that once and I just did not like it. It's just you can just tell it's not as good as it could be if you did it a different way. So the 15 milliliters it does work. Uh, it's not bad. I like it like this. Okay. But I think if I was going to do the same thing again, I would probably go for 10 uh, milliliters per gallon. And that's kind of why I did 5 and why I did 15, because I knew that some people do um, even more than 15, but I thought that I didn't want to go too high. But um, for this experiment, I think if you use 10 milliliters per gallon, you could make your wit a little bit sour, a little bit twangy, but not overly so. Both of these are nice. The 5 is more subtle, but just barely detectable. Um, so yeah, it's a possibility. What are you doing? It's a possibility to do this and I just thought I would experiment and share that with you and back to football. Just a quick tag on the end of the video. Here's what I have on tap right now. I've got uh, cider, triple smoked rauk beer, none more black India black lager, and steam and wife lager. So kind of a nice variety and they all are delicious and uh, gonna enjoy a little bit of each. Cheers.